hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima this particular video is about my distinction viva experience the one i uploaded yesterday i uploaded the one on my general viva experience so if you've not seen that part one about my general viva experience and tips and tricks for general viva please go and see before you come here let's get on with the video okay so for distinction viva distinction viva is like a separate viva i don't know someone was asking me what's different between distinction viva and general viva distinction viva is like a separate viva that is done to interview those students that are called distinction candidates in quotes like those who are more likely to get a distinction so i really don't know how it's done in your school i can only speak for my own school if you go for a distinction viva and you don't pass that viva they usually drop you down like they will strip you of that distinction no matter what your score is so that's what i can say about distinction viva so it's a whole ghetto on its own it's not funny at all it's completely different from the general viva for general viva you're more likely going to be faced with just one examiner that's the external examiner it's just that one examiner that will ask you a question but for distinction viva hmm i can only speak for my school all your lecturers will be seated all the professors every lecturer that i've ever taught you in that department will be seated plus the two or three external examiners depending on how many your school has they will sit down and ask you questions they will throw you questions from all aspects like for me my lecturers asked questions based on what they taught me what based on what i was taught but the external examiners they don't care to know like they're expecting that you are a distinction candidate so they expect that you should know everything in quotes so don't go for a distinction viva with the general viva mentality that is where you have serious problems because you may enter into the office or enter into that hall and then you find all your lecturers seated and you may cringe you may shake you may become intimidated or something i know it's difficult but try as much as is within your power to comport yourself i know like in my own time i wasn't expecting that at all like nobody told me that it was going to be like that immediately i stepped into that office and i saw all those people seated almost my heart just did bururu <laughs> my heart cut i was like what but i had to rest i had to contain like i had to maintain that's the language i had to maintain because i didn't want to come off as being timid i didn't want to come off as being threatened or intimidated i had to keep up my confidence um so when you enter and you see them the first thing I advise you do you greet don't sit down until they ask you to sit down i'm sure so many other lecturers oh, sorry, i'm sure so many other youtubers medic youtubers have said this over and over again don't sit down until you're asked to sit down so when you go in you greet them you, they, they ask you to sit you sit down when you sit down sit up don't sit down and relax or you sit down and open your leg sit down like for the females sit down with your knees together if possible let your hands be folded down your knees or oh, I, I don't really know how i'll be able to explain this for you but sit down in a professional manner let them know that you are here for business and when they ask you a question don't sit down and 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 have that timid look or that timid sit up when you're answering whatever question even though it's something you don't know sit up even though you're trying to think think out loud like if for example i was asked a question which i was trying to remember like can i remember that question it has to do with forensics and the external examiner was like which how are you going to handle the case i started thinking out loud i was like okay hair he said it was a rape case by the way i was like hair is a protein this and this and this i can't use this manner to do this and this i'm going to do this i'm going to use i was not like okay yes ma i am going to use so so and so method to handle this case you know when you think out loud it, it puts them through your thought process instead of just keeping them silent and you're thinking in your mind it's not be like as if you don't even know it even though you don't you may not know it though <laughs> so another tip i'm going to give to you is the holy spirit i cannot overemphasize god you need to hold your god tight whatever god you're serving hold your god tight man pray like have people praying for you because you can go in there and you are favored 
you can go in there and they bombard you with things that you know so well like things that are on your fingertips this one is generally for viva generally you need to hold your god tight some people are just favored and you could actually be amongst those who are favored it's possible like i remember during my distinction viva there are, there are certain questions that i was asked that i didn't really i had an idea but i didn't really have them at my fingertips ha had to mutter within me i said holy spirit please help me and i found myself saying things that if you even ask me now i won't even remember i won't even know what i said and those were things that as i was talking the examiners were like wow mm, wow mm. like they were nodding their head in you know how when you're talking to a, a professor and the professor is nodding head like okay okay oh my they sweet for air sha <laughs> let me switch it to small pigeon so that is what happens when you have the holy spirit this cannot be overemphasized cultivate your relationship with the holy spirit because even before entering into the exam hall the holy spirit can even lead you to study a particular thing that you'd be asked like i remember in my time that forensics i just had that strong leading to study that forensics material again and over and over again and i thank god that's one of the questions that was asked one good way to work on yourself is group discussions you guys can take turns to teach your teach yourself something or you can ask yourself questions and examine yourselves two more things that i would like to add is that one do not panic okay do not panic just give yourself confidence that you know i have passed already it's just 10 marks out of a whole um 19 marks and it's not like as if you will say anything that will make you to have 10 over 10 or 9 over 10 so you have passed already it's not this 10 marks that will make you feel so just give yourself that confidence and don't panic just tell yourself let god take over what will be will definitely be and what will be is that you will pass then another tip i'm going to tell you is uh, no matter what eh, even though your village people they are singing in your head don't argue with your external examiner for whatever reason if they are telling you about something and you're not so sure of it just say yes ma thank you ma i will research on it later be like ah ah it's true ah so it's true ma thank you so much ma i forgot it's true or you'll be like you know just ask drama <laughs> you know be, be polite seriously i'm not even joking with you be polite because you don't know who is who. you don't know how you can trigger the temperament of whoever your external examiner is so let's let's oblige you will not come and use this five minutes or ten minutes of your life to come and destroy all the hard work don't be afraid to make mistakes you will certainly make mistake one here or there don't be afraid these people are not your lecturers there's every possibility that you will never ever see them again in your life so just you know stay confident make sure you pray and you'll be fine trust me if there's anything at all that i've forgotten while editing this video i am certainly going to chip it in so um the next series i'm going to talk about will be discussing my professional bbs exam questions that is a series that if you would not want to miss as a preclinical student i remain your girl jemima see you next week bye